Kermit left us uh, literally the epitome of the American University student athlete. He finished with a great point average at nearly 3.8. He was an All-American in basketball. He went on to play in a great career in the NBA. And he continued that work to this very day. But he found his life's work, his love, in bringing food and technology to Africa. He traveled to Africa, he saw a need, he's been there dozens of times since, and he's continued to meet that need. I'm going to introduce to you an alumnus of this institution uh, that is one of our finest, one of our best, uh, to talk about a project that we have helped in a very small way, Kermit to lead. Kermit? Well, when I went to school here, I was wanting to get into the Peace Corps when I graduated. But then I went on in into um, pro ball. But I always wanted to go and help people that needed help. I, I know that I'm fortunate. I, I, I'm healthy. I've done well. You know, I've had some ups and downs. But you know, it, as long as you, you keep trying, things will go pretty well. But my daughter, when she was about, she was a little girl. It was a situation in Rwanda in 1994, where I think 700,000 people were killed. And it was a... I don't know what kind of, it was a Hutus against the Tutsis, and she said, Dad, you better do something. So I called up a group called Northwest Medical Teams, and I donated some money, but I happened to say, you know, I want to go over there one day to see what it's really like. They said, well, you can go next week with us. I said, next week? Into a war where war is going on? And I said, oh my goodness. I said, let me think about it for a day, and then a day later, I said, okay, I'll go. And so I got on a plane, went from Portland, to Minneapolis, to London, to Nairobi, from Nairobi to Entebbe, Uganda, to Entebbe, Uganda, to Goma Zaire. And we were stationed in a um, refugee camp right outside Rwanda, where um, the doctors and nurses did a tremendous job, but there was no water, no electricity, no food, no bathrooms, nothing. For us, there was. But for those people that were being thrown out of the country, no. And so, pretty bad situations. I said, well, I think I can help. And so from that point on, I started going back with doctors and nurses. And now we have a clinic, we have a school, we feed about 700 people a day. And that's why I'm doing that fast, to try to raise money so we can feed a few more people. And um, it's going well, as can be expected in Africa. So it's just grassroots. We have no big donors or anything else like that. We just groups of people that say, okay, let's go, let's do it, let's see what we can do. So we still, it's something I think I'll do today I die. Um, I, 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 it's, it's, do they say you like going over? No, I don't like going to really bad situations, but it's nice being Santa Claus. So when I go, I'm, you're like Santa Claus. You get a point where you can help people that are in need. 